From Richmond to Uganda, a Central Virginia nonprofit is working to keep students in school who often miss class for a surprising reason. Elizabeth Holmes is live in the studio to explain. Liz? John, that nonprofit is called Sylvia Sisters. They collect period products like tampons and pads for those in need, aiming to give thousands of products to Richmond Public Schools in the upcoming weeks. That's because roughly 84% of students have missed a class or know someone who has missed a class because they didn't have what they need. In a storage unit. So that's about 40. Brittany Averett stands by a slew of boxes. 200, we can say 200 boxes. Packed to the brim with 2,000 period kits, ready to go to Richmond Public Schools. So this is about 20 products in here, a mix of pads, tampons, and liners. She's the executive director of Sylvia Sisters, a nonprofit trying to end period poverty or lack of access to period supplies that are safe and clean. You have blood? The group started in Uganda in 2014, but realized the need was just as bad in Richmond. It's a widespread issue that nobody is talking about. Since 2020, the price of period products has increased by 26 percent. A quick trip to the store is a sign of the times. Just to put things into perspective, I'm here at a CVS where a single box of tampons can cost up to $14.49. Um, we're running really low on maxis. That's causing Sylvia Sisters to serve more people. In 2022, the group distributed about 35,000 products between January and June. Between that same time this year, they've distributed over 200,000. The mother called us. Her 12-year-old daughter had just started her period um, for the first time. This mother wasn't going to get paid until the next week. It wasn't in the budget. She called us crying because her daughter wouldn't be able to go to school. Um, the next day unless we helped her out. This year, Virginia leaders removed a state tax from menstrual products, but localities can still tax them. A really heartbreaking part of this is that no federal aid program will allow you to purchase menstrual products with those funds. So you can't use food stamps, now SNAP, you can't use WIC benefits to purchase these products. Virginia state law requires all schools to provide some kind of period product to students, but Averett says many do not or cannot because it's not in the budget. The school, particular school I talked to said, we don't even have a vice principal, let alone a custodian. So you know, they, they just couldn't implement um, what we were offering, which is really sad. Sylvia Sisters says it's feeling the effects of inflation in need of more support to serve others. It's like a light bulb moment when you hear about it and understand all its many repercussions. Now, Sylvia Sisters will be hosting a supply drive at four different locations across Richmond. That's next Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon, and we'll have more information on that on our website, WTVR.com. In the studio, I'm Elizabeth Holmes, CBS 6 News.